to our buddy welcome back to a brand new collection video today i'm going to be diving in and giving you guys my whole entire steelbook collection now it's not going to be in alphabetical order because i messed that up as i was putting more of the steelbooks out there but i'm excited to give you guys this video nonetheless and i do understand that many of you guys are wanting my updated blu-ray collection a video game collection a funko pop collection and even more than that um i have a lot of videos of that coming out i planned for um maybe april april looks to be a little bit of a slower month for movies until it finally starts jam packing again hopefully in may so i'm gonna keep that in mind i understand what you guys want i'm shooting for april for all of those videos um let me know which one you'd rather have first other than that, we had a lot of movies to talk about, a lot of steelbooks to show off, and let me know down below if you guys have any of these, which ones you would like to have, and in general, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy geeky content like this. I am the Wolf of Geek Street, and if you love talking movies, TV, or video games every single day, this is the channel for you guys. I'm your guy, and I'm excited to be here with you guys on my journey to just talking all sorts of stuff like that. So without further ado, let's jump into my collection video right now. <laughs> right so we got the first stack of movies here to talk about and again these are in no order so again if you had an issue with that i'm sorry uh we got star wars uh the empire strikes back i personally don't love these steel books um but i bought them when they were on blu-ray because i was at first starting to collect steel books and this was kind of one of the ones i got has a stormtrooper i like the back more i wish this was on the front and this was on the back but I preface nothing next one i got is star wars a new hope this one is actually pretty dope it has my boy uh darth vader and of course the poster on the back next one we got is rogue one i love rogue one well i don't love the movie but i love the steelbook um i really like the movie at least but i really like the steelbook i actually like the design this is probably my favorite steelbook out of most of the star wars ones that we've gotten so far then I got Solo, A Star Wars Story. Surprisingly, this movie, Steelbook, actually goes for like 70 bucks online, which is shocking. I enjoy this one. Fun little movie. Grievous, one of the most underrated characters in the Star Wars franchise. We got his Steelbook right here. Of course, again, wish the poster was on the front, not the back. You're going to see a very collection video of those. We got Yoda, Attack of the Clones. Again, poster set up on the back. Pretty cool with having Yoda on there. And, of course, also Darth Maul pretty beautiful right there phantom menace you know see i just wish the stormtrooper one would have been uh you know like luke skywalker or something i think i forgot a star wars one maybe i did did i no i did not forget a star oh, well i have one more star wars one i just don't know where it's at it's somewhere in the pile over there hopefully we'll get to it next one we got is inside out really love these pixar ones you're gonna see a lot of them i think i have every single one but maybe two of them so we'll get to there but i love inside out Joker, Walking Phoenixes, really adore this steelbook. Love the back of it. The inside of it's pretty cool too, with him painting his face. But in general, really adore this steelbook. I think it's pretty cool. This one I have actually never opened, but I really dig the movie, and that's Jennifer's Body. I think I got the steelbook for around like five, six bucks on Blu-ray. Uh, Jennifer Body is an underrated horror film. If you haven't checked it out, go see it. Next one I have is this John Wick uh three i think yeah it's three john wick three parabellum uh love this steelbook love the artwork like the mosaic stuff the inside of it's pretty plain and normal just a bunch of guns underneath the covers adore this film next one i got is hacksaw ridge now this is a cool steelbook directed by mel gibson of course starring andrew garfield love andrew garfield's performance in here and i really like this steelbook i actually just reopened this like a couple days ago a lot of these steelbooks i buy like for cheap and then I just like never open them. So if you see a lot that aren't open, that's why. And the next pile that I grabbed, I have the Interstellar Steelbook. Now it's kind of annoying to me because this used to be a Target exclusive and it came with like a 35 millimeter uh, film print. Now I really wanted this, I got it, but now Best Buy released a whole entire 4K set or 4K thing with the same exact thing. I want the 4K disc, so maybe one day. Next one I got was Hunter Killer. My dad really, really likes this movie. I didn't care for this movie, um, but he, you know, I got him that. Next one I got is The Incredibles 2 Steelbook. I don't necessarily love this Steelbook, but I do love The Incredibles 2, so I got the Steelbook because I had a coupon. And a lot of these Disney Steelbooks go on sale, so. Next one I got was It Chapter 2 trailer, or er, trailer. 
Steelbook. Really adore this one with the kids on the back, adults on the front. I overall enjoy this movie. I wish we got more of the adults and the kids, but I digress. You know, a lot of people shit on this one. I think it was kind of cool how they went like really much for a blockbuster horror film, especially by the end. Moving into my next Steelbooks, I have the first It film right here. This is the original Steelbook for it all. Had to show that off. I love the first It film. We also got Spider-Man Homecoming. Probably one of my favorite Steelbooks I've ever gotten is this one, perhaps. I can't believe they fucked up the Far From One. Far From Home one so bad. And in fact, it's so bad, I didn't even buy it. Like, it was like six bucks at one point. I'm like, I'm still not going to buy that. Uh, we got Avengers Infinity War right here. Thanos with a glove, the A. Really dig that one. We got Endgame right here. I A lot of people can talk crap about this one. I kind of like this one. It's kind of pretty. I wish the Hulk was on here. Like, it's like they took the, the stuff from Infinity War. Like, I'm pretty sure that's his suit from Infinity War. Like, just small things like that um, that I wish they would have added. But I do like the back of having all the characters who had passed away. We got Captain Marvel right here. Got this one because it was cheap and I wanted to continue collecting it. And I like Captain Marvel. I, I don't hate the movie like some people do. Thor Ragnarok, this one is pretty beautiful. Um, I don't love this film, but I like the Steelbook. So, again... Ant-Man and the Wasp. This one's pretty dope. Uh, I like the shrinking. I like all this way better than the original Ant-Man Steelbook. Groot on, of course, Do Not Push. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Steelbook. Really adore this one. Little Groot in the corner. Next one, we got a Civil War. This one might have been one of my first Steelbooks ever when I found out that what Steelbooks were. I think my first one was Magnificent Seven, which we'll see somewhere in there. But just this film, just this cover in general, it's beautiful. It's solid. And yeah, just like, look at that. It's it's just epic that whole background oh i love it uh next one we got is black panther now if you know me you know i love black panther and i love the steelbook as well i think there's another one out there though that's actually even cooler than this one so i might need to look into that and reinvesting some of the steelbooks like i will sometimes buy like other movies like again because i like the steelbook so much um and then sell the older copy so uh, next one i got is avengers age of ultron uh, i got these the same day that infinity war came out really like the ultrons on the back and then for this one, of course, it's the Tesseract with, of course, the Avengers thing as well. And the next one I got is Captain America, the first Avenger. I love this steelbook. They did a whole collection of different Marvel films with the posters on the front. This was probably my favorite one. Plus, at the time, this is actually a 4K disc. So I didn't own the 4K disc yet. So it was kind of the perfect moment to buy this. And moving on up, I got the Power Rangers reboot steelbook. Now, this was exclusive to Target at the time. Underrated movie. If you haven't seen the Power Rangers movie, you probably should because you probably missed out thinking, oh, they're doing a Power Rangers movie. That's what I thought, and then I loved it. Ratatouille, beautiful. Again, I told you guys how much I love these Pixar steelbooks. I wish all of them were like this, like the Toy Story 4 and the Onward, even the Soul one, which, again, I do have my Soul and Wonder Woman steelbooks coming in very soon, Wonder Woman 1984. I don't know when they should be in, but I needed to film this video before it came out, but those are two pretty cool ones. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tale. I love this steelbook. I wish they would do a whole 4K of every single Pirates of the Caribbean movie, but maybe one day, but I really do like this one. Uh, I think it's pretty touching. I like the movie as well. A quiet place now they've done a couple iterations of a steelbook for this but this is still my favorite one if they hear you they hunt you i love the claw marks in the front and how they did the stylization if you have this one you probably know exactly what i'm talking about next one i have is one cut of the dead a movie that i still need to see but i've heard is awesome it's all shot in one take it's a zombie film and apparently it's very humorous and you know i got this movie for like six eight bucks on steelbook so you know i've heard it's great all right, Deadpool 2. A lot of people don't like the steelbook. I like it for the most part better than the artwork cover. The thing is, I don't love this movie. Um, I have a lot of issues with Deadpool 2, especially like on rewatches and rewatches. So, But the movie I don't have an issue with is Deadpool and Deadpool 1. Now, it's funny with this is this is the original steelbook. I don't love this one, but I love the movie. This is the Valentine's Day 4K edition. Now, this thing was like 50 or 40 bucks for the longest time. Don't know why. It finally went down to like 12 bucks, and I'm like... Finally, I can get that thing. And one of the first two books I also got was Drive. I love Drive. I think Ryan Gosling is excellent in this. This is a Mondo, I think, one. Or maybe a video art. It is from Best Buy, I know. And then it kind of went to Target. And, you know, when Best Buy can't sell those two books, they end up going there. So always check your Targets and your um, Walmarts. They'll get, like, really exclusive steel books. I'll be like, oh, my God, I haven't seen that in forever. And the next steel books I have is Deepwater Horizon, a great little Mark Wahlberg movie directed by Peter Berg. Coming to America, you know, I watched this for the first time this year and my favorite line is still good morning my neighbors Fuck you. Fuck you, too. Perfect moment. I, I love that moment 
Also got a Casino. I know there's a Goodfellas one out there and I need to find that one because yeah, uh, Casino is a great movie. We got Creed 2. Another beautiful one as well. Uh, love this movie. And I especially love the first Creed. Beautiful, beautiful movie. And uh, if you can't tell, love love the franchise. Now this is probably one of the most gorgeous steelbooks I've ever owned and that is Coco. This movie is touching. It's beautiful. It's everything you can imagine and more. But the steelbook itself fits the entire film in such a beautiful and capturization that I just end up falling in love with the film more and more. Especially when I look at the steelbook. Like, this is a really cool steelbook. And then the next thing I actually have is this giant set. Now, it's the Hobbit 4K Editions steelbooks. And they come in this giant thing. And these are really cool. Uh, the Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey. And then I do have the Lord of the Rings one, which will show up probably in the next pile. Uh, Desolation of Smog. Now, the thing is, I don't love the Hobbit movies whatsoever. I, I really only like the first one, but I'm a completionist. So when I get one thing, I got to finish out the rest. And there's a couple movies in here where you'll notice, oh, well, Zach, like, aren't you missing the next one? And I'm like, I am, but I just sometimes I won't pay that extra fee. And moving to my next pile, we have the La La Land Steelbooks. Now, it's a funny thing. This is actually the Blu-ray version, but I found the 4K disc for like five bucks at like a local Blu-ray store. And I'm like, oh, I'll buy the thing and just put the 4K disc in here. And then I sold the DVD copy to my friend. Next thing we got is Lego Batman movie. Now, I just love the movie. I don't love the steelbook, but this is the only version I could find when it came out. Next one is one of my favorite steelbooks of all time. That's Logan. One of my Probably my favorite comic book film of all time besides one other one in here. This is such a beautiful movie. One that is touching, poetic, and just has such a great send-off for Hugh Jackman himself. Yeah, I love this steelbook. Next one I got is Knives Out. Now, this is one of the most inventive steelbooks ever. So if you can see, it's, it's shaped like a book, like literally like a book. But the thing about this, if you see the knives all around, let me open it. So like I said, it's shaped like a book. But when you flip the knife thing around, and this is spoilers for people who have not seen Knives Out. If you haven't seen Knives Out, tune out for like the next 10 seconds. But I'm going to show you the knives go onto the person of the crime which is, of course, Chris Evans, who committed it. I, I think this is genuinely one of the coolest still books they've ever made, and I was just so excited when they did that. Next thing we got, of course, I talked about The Hobbit. I got the Lord of the Rings steel books. These were hard as hell to find, so thank you to everyone who helped me find these. Um, we got Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. We got Lord of the Rings and the Two Towers, which uh, during uh, my parents, my whole family got COVID, and I was the only one that didn't, so I had to sit in my room and just watch movies, make videos, and Return of the King. So I definitely um, sat there and did a Lord of the Rings binge the last couple of days I was there, and then I had to go back to work when I was all cleared to go. Next thing we got is Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Now, I really adore this film. I know not everyone does. I don't think it's as great as the first one, but I still think it's a fun time. I like the Steelbook. Next one we got is Kick-Ass, which if you haven't seen, it's also directed by the same guy who did the both Kingsman films. Now, Kick-Ass is an awesome movie. I really, really like this movie. It's the 4K Steelbook, which came out, I think, this year. And yeah, it's a must-buy. If you haven't seen that, it's one of the most underrated comic book films. Next one we got is the Jurassic World Collection, which I'll probably be ending up turning in the Steelbook once they announce the next Jurassic Park, as long as I like the next one. Because... I enjoy most of these, but they're not all great. Like the first one's like probably my favorite one of them all. So yeah, let's just keep that in mind. Next one we got, my girlfriend got me this for Christmas. It was the Halloween Steelbook. Now I've already owned this movie, but this Steelbook's just freaking awesome. And this actually used to be a Best Buy Steelbook and I couldn't get it when it came out. Now I own it because it was at Target. Next one we got is Hateful Eight. One of the, also the first Steelbooks I ever got as well. Love the Hateful Eight movie. Think it's a blast. Think it's a little bit too long, but still really cool Steelbook. Love the bloody trailer and all that. Next one we got is Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. Now one of the, my favorite comic book films of all time is this Hellboy film. It's just badass, that whole entire thing right there. And then we actually have the first Hellboy Steelbook right here. This one I found out of random. Like it's completely random. I didn't need it, but I wanted the upgrade to the Blu-ray and it was like $6 and I was like, I'll take it. Next one we got is Finding Dory and Finding Nemo. Now, of course, Finding Dory's is not like this. This is the original steelbook for it. Um, this one was exclusive to Target. Now, I don't love the Finding Dory movie all too much, and I already own the steelbook in the Blu-ray, so I didn't need to upgrade, but I did want to upgrade to the Finding Nemo 4K steelbook, so I did. And I'm sure for people who are watching this are like, I don't know the difference. There is a difference between 4K and Blu-ray. Some are better, some are not. Continuing this steelbook collection, I got to keep getting up and getting down to go grab more. We got the Pineapple Collection, or Pineapple Collection, Pineapple Express steelbook. This is a pretty unique one, in fact. 
I really like this movie. It's a fun little comedy. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. Princess and the Frog. I think this is one of the most underrated Disney animated features ever. Pretty plain. A lot of these Disney animated ones didn't blow me away, but I did want the film on 4K, and I got it on that. Now, I was very disappointed in this movie, but I love Predator, and I had to get the Predator film. This is the brand new one. I do think this is a dope steelbook. My dad enjoyed this one more than me, though, so this is more of a film. If he ever wants to watch it, I own it so he can borrow it and stuff like that. Next one we got is Onward. Again, I like the other Pixar ones that I was showing you guys earlier, but still a fun and unique one, and I really like it onward, and I want more for that film. Now, this one's cool, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, the sing-along edition. Now, I love this. It's actually glow-in-the-dark, so if I were to turn off the lights, we would be able to see that. But beautiful, touching, love this film. I actually just watched it last night as my family was doing a puzzle. I sat there and put it on and just started singing along. What is your favorite song from Nightmare Before Christmas? Let me know. Mary Poppins Returns beautiful i really really like this movie and i was shocked that not more people did and of course i had to grab mary poppins as well both great um underrated thing though i think the music is better in this one but i weirdly like this movie just a little bit more i know it's bad i know it's blasphemy blasphemy but just understand that next one we got is monsters inc again love these pixar steelbooks they're so beautiful and of course, Monsters University, which is really underrated. I think it's a fun little college comedy. Now, the first steelbook I ever picked up was the Magnificent Seven. Now, I mentioned this earlier in the video. This is a Magnificent Seven. This is technically my first 4K disc as well. Didn't know it was a 4K movie. Just saw it and I was like, I like the movie. Let's get the steelbook. And I've always really enjoyed that one. Next one we got is Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. This is right when I was starting to get into uh, Steelbooks. I picked that one up. I was like, I need I need another one. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. This was a Target exclusive. Really like this one. Same thing with Mad Max. This was also a Target exclusive at the time, and I really adore this. I don't love the movie, though. Surprisingly, I love this one, Mad Max Fury Road. Now, I personally don't love this Steelbook, but I've been waiting. Like, I enjoy it. I think it's a cool little Steelbook, but I've been waiting for a 4K copy of... Fury Road, like the original steelbook for this is the coolest thing ever. Um, and this is one of my favorite action films of all time. So I definitely had to include this in the video because yeah, and I definitely had to get it. Like if I want the upgrade and it's a pretty cool looking steelbook, like I don't love it. I think the original one's better. I would probably do that. But if I already had the original steelbook, I probably wouldn't have gotten this. Moving forward to the next stack, Gremlins, a must buy. I, I really like this one because you can see like that and then you can see Stripe on that side. Pretty beautiful on that. Now this one's cool, Ghost in the Shell. So you got the slip cover and then you got that. It, it, that That's just awesome. Like, And I already own a Ghost in the Shell steelbook, but this is one of the best anime movies ever. And the fact that the steelbook does that, Magnifique, like perfect. The, end, the back's pretty cool too, but if you've never seen Ghost in the Shell, I, a lot of you guys probably have seen the, the live action version with Scarlett Johansson. Pretty cool, that's better. Uh, next one we have is the three Ghostbusters Steelbook movies. Now, here's the thing. This is the new one, the 2016 one. I don't hate this one. It's not bad. I like it. It has good moments to it, but it, I actually think it's better than Ghostbusters 2. But nothing will ever hold up to Ghostbusters 1. This is one of the coolest steelbooks I've ever owned. And, and in fact, at the time, that was the one I bought. The other two I found for like a really cheap deal. Like I went to a used Blu-ray store. They had it there. My girlfriend got me this one, The Gambler. Never seen this movie until last year. Really like this one. Now we got the Frozen steelbook. I got hyped. I like Frozen. I think it's better than the second one. But the thing with this movie is I don't watch it as much and I want people to understand. I don't hate Frozen. I just think it was very overplayed. And when you were babysitting at the time for kids, this is all they wanted to watch. Next one we got is Ford v Ferrari. Excellent movie. If you've never seen it, God, this probably would have made my top 10 list if I were to redo it now. Oh, Flash. Flash Gordon. You have to get it. Furious 7. Um, yeah, love this. And Fiast and Furious 6, I also have that steelbook too. Yeah. Uh, both both awesome movies. I really need to rewatch 6 though. I've only seen 6 twice. I've seen 7 like 30,000 times. Now we got the El Camino Breaking Bad steelbook. Now this is a pretty plain steelbook, just him driving off, just the poster. But and nothing on the, the end either, but... Um, I like El Camino. It was one of my favorite films of that year, and I'm just a giant Breaking Bad fan, so that had to join the collection. Edward Scissorhands, the 25th anniversary. I have no idea where I got this steelbook. It was either at Target or Best Buy, but uh, Edward Scissorhands, underrated, you know, not enough people talk about that Tim Burton movie. I know people do, but like when people talk about Tim Burton, I never hear them say, that's my favorite Tim Burton movie. 
Escape from New York. I love, love, love this steelbook. Um, these steelbooks are really unique. I know they do like My Bloody Valentine ones. This is another one that I don't remember exactly where it's from, but it's one that I definitely need to find more steelbooks like that. And of course, we also have Elf. Just a, it's a classic. It's a classic Christmas movie. Moving to the next list, we got Sausage Party. Now, if you've never seen Sausage Party, God, was this... Th that was a movie. That that was a specific movie. We also got Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I really like this movie. I'm excited for the sequel. I did get this, though. I wasn't planning on getting a first day, but... It came with a Donut Lord comic book, and I kind of wanted to read it, so I got that for that, and I still like the movie. Shazam! I've talked about it, how much I love Shazam, and as plain as this steelbook is, it's still pretty cool, and I dig it overall. Next one we got is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Really, really cool. And Target used to do a bunch of these kind of steelbooks like this. Like, there's a Hulk one, there's a Born Ultimatum one, there's a Riddick one. I did get the Scott Pilgrim one at the time. Rocket Man. Surprisingly enough, there was actually two steelbooks for this film. One at Best Buy, one at Walmart. This was the Best Buy one, and I love it. Next one, Red Sparrow. Uh, I find this movie to be really underrated. I think a lot of people kind of shit on this one. Jennifer Lawrence is incredible in this. A very plain steelbook, but for the same price as the original 4K, why not get it? Next one we have is Zootopia. Now, Zootopia is really, really cool. It's one of the best Disney animated films in quite a while. Pretty, again, generic Disney, like, steelbook cover, but I really like this movie, and I wanted to upgrade to the 4K, so it was time. And again, a lot of these Disney and Pixar ones I got, I got for, like, literally 5 to $8. They were trying to clear those things out. Zombieland. Love this one. Zombies. You got Tallahassee down here. That's pretty, pretty cool. Now, I don't know why. It's so funny. So, I have every X-Men movie. I own every X-Men movie, but when it comes to these two, I have the two worst ones on Steelbook. Like, two of my least favorite ones besides X-Men Origins. Uh, X-Men The Last Stand and X-Men Apocalypse. Now, the Steelbook's cool for this one. I, I The thing is, when I bought the whole collection, like, the guy was selling it as all of them. These are the two that came with it, and I was like... I'll take it. I'll take it. I get it. Now, moving on forward, of course, we have the Tenet Steelbook. Awesome Steelbook right here. D John David Washington, Robert Pattinson. God, I love this movie. If you do not love Tenet, I am so sorry for you. The Town Girlfriend surprised me with this one. Fucking love this movie. One of my favorite films of all time. Tangled. Great little cute one right there. Again, this is probably like, out of all the Disney animated ones that I have, this is probably the coolest one. The one I regret not buying, though, is Moana. I really need that movie on 4K. Venom, really love this steelbook. Excited for the sequel. Up, beautiful. Now, I have some issues with Up towards the ending, but Up is pretty great. Us, love this film. Got to go to the premiere, be one of the first people ever to see it in the world. Great memories for that. And uh, I got to interview Lupita Nyong'o as well. Pretty cool. The Raid Redemption. If you've never seen this film, it's one of the best action films ever made. Ready Player One. Now, it's funny. There's actually a better Ready Player One steelbook now, but I still actually really like this one the most, and I just love this movie. I need to get it on 4K. Detective Pikachu. Now, this steelbook's funny. I just went to go buy the movie. I didn't expect to get the steelbook, but then it was sitting there in front of me, and I was like, this thing looks beautiful. Like, the touches in the front to the back to Pikachu's face. I said, this is the must-buy. Next one we got is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, my favorite film from 2018. Um, when this steelbook came out, it didn't come with a 4K in it, but as you can see, I do have the 4K, and I like the inside too. So what I did was I bought a, a, this and I bought the 4K, switched the disc in there, and then gave my friend the, the Blu-ray because I didn't need it. Uh, Superman Man of Tomorrow, I like these Dis uh, DC animated films, but this steelbook was pretty cool. It was like 10 bucks, why not? Super bad steelbook, pretty awesome. If you've never seen this comedy, it's freaking fantastic. Now I haven't opened this one yet. My girlfriend got me this for Christmas. It's one I've been really wanting for a while, and that's Shutter Island. Um, I'll probably break this out later this week. I've been in the mood to watch this one. Love DiCaprio in this, and love Scorsese's direction. Spirited Away, my favorite anime film of all time. It's just a classic, and got this one on sale. Whew, Southpaw, Southpaw right there. 
really like this movie now it's funny when this movie came out um i wanted this but i still was kind of new to collecting the blu-rays didn't know the difference between a steelbook why this one was more told walmart i said why is this version five dollars more than the other version they price matched it gave me the price and now i kind of know why i kind of screwed them out of it and then we have snatch uh another steelbook i've probably had for years never opened it never been in the mood to rewatch it but now I kind of am talking about it. Uh, three more stacks to go, guys. And starting with this one is The Wolf of Wall Street, my favorite movie of all time. I don't love this one. I don't, I wish there was... I've seen cooler designs online if people were to make one. But Wolf of Wall Street is my favorite movie of all time. Gotta have it in there. Wonder Woman. Always saw people talk crap about this one. Like, not the movie, but the steelbook. I like it. Next one we have is Wally. Probably one of my favorite steelbooks I do own is this... A lot of these Pixar ones, but I love this one. We also have this Watchmen one, which is just TikTok, TikTok. This is from the show Watchmen. I used to have the movie Watchmen one, but then I upgraded to the 4K Ultimate Edition. I was like, yeah, I'm going to keep that. But love Watchmen, the show. Just excellent. Next one we got is Star Trek. Pretty cool movie. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. That's where that Star Wars one went. I like the Steelbook, and I like the movie. Don't kill me. Last Jedi. Really, really love a lot of the decisions in here. Love the Steelbook. Force Awakens, as you can see, Kylo Ren, my dude. We also, this is the one I was missing. Return of the Jedi, that's why I looked behind me, was for this. And how's Emperor Palpatine. We also have Transformers the movie, the original movie. All for one. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take that one. The Ninja Turtles movie, with the shredder on the back. Um, not the best movie, but... Um, I don't know why I own that. We also have uh, Top Gun and Steelbook. I've never opened this. It's $6.99. What's wrong with me? Oh, man. Next one we have are some of my favorite films of all time. Uh, Toy Story 4. I wish the Steelbook was more like these, though. Toy Story 3. Toy Story 2. And, of course, Toy Story 1. When these steelbooks were announced, I probably screamed of excitement because I knew it was something I had to pick up, and I pre-ordered them right away. Next one we have is Wreck-It Ralph. Love this movie. Really, really cute. And, of course, Whiplash, one of the coolest steelbooks I've ever owned. The best steelbook of Whiplash so far, and if you haven't seen Whiplash, go see it. And talking about one of the most underrated movies ever is Alien Covenant. Uh, <laughs> don't kill me when I say this. Might be my favorite alien movie. Might be. Uh, American Werewolf in London. Yeah, I've never... haven't watched this one in a while. I got the steelbook, though, for cheap, so must buy. Aquaman. Um, you know, take Mera out, but Aquaman's pretty cool. Or just recast the character. I don't care. Army of Darkness. Uh, look at that beautiful steelbook. I love Army of Darkness. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. Arrival. Look at that. Look at that beauty. I got this one earlier this year, and Arrival is one of my favorite movies. I still want to get a tattoo of one of the symbols. Alita Battle Angel. This steelbook is really hard to get. People, like, I know a lot of people want sequels on this. I've heard that there is some things in development for a Disney Plus show, which I would be really interested in. I loved Alita. Uh, I hated the romance in it, but everything else I loved. A Star is Born. Tragic, beautiful movie. Bradley Cooper should have won Best Actor that year. And even Director. Uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. I mean, it's, it's a masterpiece. 1917. I love how simple the steelbook is, but just how perfect in the grooves are in the front. We also have 300. This is Sparta. Kick them down the stairs, right? Kick them down the stairs. Really, really, really like that one. And of course, we also have 10 Cloverfield Lane. God. Under a movie. Remember when this movie's trailer came out? Everyone's like, oh my God, we're getting a new Cloverfield movie? Like less than a month? That's awesome. My last stack of steelbooks we have here kind of ends on a whimper, but we have Sucker Punch. This is a movie I actually need to dive back into. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Zack Snyder ranking later this year when Army of the Dead comes out. Cinderella got this because it was like five bucks, so why not? Uh, Cars 2. I only own it because it's five bucks bucks um i don't hate this movie but i don't love it uh i don't have cars 3 though like that's the one i was hinting at earlier cars i enjoyed the first one first one's cute i i like the first one bugs life my sister's favorite pixar movie really love this steelbook really touching we also got brave which i got a little scratch in the front of it but brave pretty pretty solid pixar movie <sighs> 
don't love this movie, but I love the Steelbook, Beauty and the Beast. Um, on rewatches, this film definitely goes down for me more and more. Blade Runner 2049, I need the 4K Steelbook for this. So if there's anyone out there that would love to trade, I will trade you for this one. Uh, I need to rewatch that movie. Big Hero 6, one of the coolest Steelbooks I've ever seen. When I was talking about those Disney animated feature ones, this was the coolest one. Just look at it. It's freaking Baymax flying off into space, man. And of course, we have the Batman 4 film collection from 1989 to 1987. Pretty beautiful. And these steelbooks are pretty generic in here. It's just the Bat logo. And again, the Bat logo for Batman Returns. Um, and then I have Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. But guys, that is going to be my Steelbook collection. Uh, I had a blast showing you guys this. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know down below in the comment section which ones you guys love the most. Which ones do you want? Which ones do you have that I don't want that or that I don't have but you guys wish I had? Let me know down there and let me know which collection video you'd like next. Would you like to have a giant Blu-ray collection, um, a room tour, pop Funko collection? What tips do you want for collecting? Let me know down below. I've done more of these videos and I would love to do more, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. It is really dusty now because of all the dust on those movies, but I had a blast, guys. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, until next time, stay classy.